Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So because of the launch of the Blackstar ID Core V3 this week, I also wanted to sort of do a quick introduction to the Blackstar Acoustic Core 30. So this is the sort of, I guess you could say twin sister to that ID Core amplifier for acoustic players. It shares a lot of the same sort of features. It's still a super wide stereo, so you still have your sort of two five inch, 15 watt speakers making 30 watts in total. So what I really wanted to talk about is to show you that this guitar here, and there is a video on this exact guitar, which I call Mr. Flame because of the sort of flamed maple neck, well, flame mahogany neck it has. Anyway, that's besides the point. There's a full video on this guitar on the channel already, but this Acoustic Core 30 and this Electro Acoustic from Tanglewood at Nylon Music are 399. So you can get both of these together as a awesome sort of package for 399. Now, Obviously you can go, you know, backwards or forwards on the guitar front in that, but as a sort of overall unique package, that's a really good thing. And we're going to be doing similar things for the ID core range for electric guitars as well. And just one other thing to show you really quick before we get onto a quick bit of sound demos from, from this guy is both the acoustic core 30 and the ID core V3 can be powered with this. Now this is black stars sort of, power bank if you like it's just a yeah well yeah so it's a power bank but it can be used to power both of those amps with this and you get like i think it's five or six solid hours out of it as well so you know if you wanted to use the amp in a busking scenario or you just wanted to be wireless we have got the option to do that with these amps as well and as a sort of unique accessory package if mainly for busking but you know or you just want to be fancy or whatever we are offering these as an accessory pack to both of those amplifiers if you're interested in that. So this is the More Air P10 wireless system. So you can see that with both of these you would have an entirely wireless sort of really nice setup going on. And again there's a video on the quality of these on the, on the channel already. I'll link both of those videos down below. Just to quickly show you the top panel as well then. It's made up of these sort of two sections. The top being your guitar section. So that is an overall gain. You have a two band EQ, low and high to work with the EQ, whatever you have on your guitar. And then you have the effects section as well, which is a choice of two choruses and two reverbs built in. And then on the bottom section here, you have your sort of combo XLR jack input mic or line. And again, you have an overall gain control for that. A three band EQ this time, low, mid and high. And a choice of two reverbs in the effects of that channel as well. And then over here you start seeing some familiarities with the ID Core V3. So you can use it as a USB interface, much like you can with the ID. And your master volume, a phase switch on the amp as well. You do have a foot switch option here. And then the TRRS live streaming feature as well that's been introduced on the Core ID line. As well as a line out or headphones. And then the only other really f major difference to show you is on the back you have a XLR out with a emulated sort of speaker setup within that as well. enjoyed this quick look and if you're interested drop the page a message and I'll see you on the next video.